Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to tell you what you should learn next after you learned what you should learn next from the last video where I told you what you should learn next, which was React. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. I'll link to it in the description below. I might even link to it at the end of the video, but it's basically what to learn next. Uh, it's uh, the most recent video on my YouTube channel. And this video is basically what do you learn after you learn that. So in the last video, I talked about the book, uh, Road to Learn React and how great it was and how I used it to learn React. And now I'm talking about a course on Udemy that can help you supplement that learning and learn Redux. If you haven't already taken the uh, or read the other book that follows up on Road to Learn React that teaches Redux, then you can use this. Or if you have, you can still use it to supplement, fill some of the gaps, and actually create a really cool application. So this course that I'm looking at here is from Brad Traversi. Uh, I hope I'm saying his last name right, Traversi. Uh, really cool down to earth guy. You may follow his YouTube channel. It's a featured channel on my YouTube channel. Uh, so go ahead and follow him, subscribe to him, check him out if you haven't already. He's got tons of free content similar to the stuff that I have on my channel. In any event, he's got these really cool courses on Udemy and one of them is this course right here which I feel is a very important course for any developer in 2018 who wants to be a full stack or front end web developer. So the title of the course is Mern Stack front to back, full stack, React, Redux, and Node.js. Build and deploy a social network with Node.js, Express, React, Redux, and MongoDB. Learn how to put it all together. So that's huge, that's a big deal. If you're coming from Colt Steele's Web Developer Bootcamp, then you already know basically everything you need to know leading up to this course. You already know about Express, you already know about MongoDB with Mongoose, how to hook those together, and you know how to do everything except for the view layer with React, right? But uh, ideally, you've probably just read that book uh, from the previous video. Again, I'll link it in the description. And if you haven't, you should go ahead and check that out. But this is a good way to build on top of that and learn React to go ahead and get a front end JavaScript framework to tie in the view layer for your MVC framework, uh, building your web apps with Express and Node.js, MongoDB. Uh, so Mern is Mongo, Express, React, and Node. And this course is going to basically take you through building a really cool social media for developers. Uh, kind of like GitHub and Facebook mixed together, I guess you could say. Um, so here, what will I learn? Like I just said, full stack social network, uh, stateless JWT authentication practices. So you may have come from, again, WDB or another course where you learned how to use Passport to do user authentication. You're using sessions. Uh, in this case, you use uh, JWT, or it's called a JOT, uh, Chase on Web Token. And it's basically uh, this token that you generate and allows you to connect to front end frameworks, whether you have a mobile app, or you have uh, something like Angular, or Vue.js, or in this case, React. Or if you, this is all coming from your server connecting to those things. If you have any number of those things uh, connecting to your server, then you'd use JWT to do the authentication and Brad is gonna show you how to do that in this course. It uses Redux for state management. Uh, you create an extensive backend API with Express. So previously, if you took WDB, you knew how to render your view layer using res.render. In this case, we're gonna use res.json to actually send JSON out. If you've taken my um, Ajax course, then you already know about this. You send JSON to the front end, and the, uh, in my course, we access it with the jQuery using the Ajax request, in this case, you're gonna use, I think, the Fetch API, or um, Brad actually uses Axios, which is Fetch, Axios, and jQuery's Ajax, or just XML, HTTP requests. They're all the same thing. You're just sending an HTTP request to a server, an API, you're getting back a response, and then you're doing something with that. In this case, you're gonna use React to build up the view layer. Okay, so this teaches you how to integrate React with Express backend in an elegant way. So Brad's really good at commenting things out, explaining things, showing you how things connect together. I know when I was trying to hack it all together on my own, I tried to do it a couple different ways and it was not easy. Uh, Brad takes you through it very quickly. And this isn't a course that you have to sit down and take. It says 16 and a half hours of on-demand video. If you watch it in time and a half or double time and you skip past the stuff that you already know, you say, oh, I know how to set up this and how to set up that and just look at the source code and jump into the stuff that you need to learn, like the React stuff and the Redux stuff, then you can do it in like half the time it would take you to normally take it. So that's what I would do. Um, take the smart way. Don't focus on the stuff that you already know. Just use that as kind of a review, skim through it, get to the stuff that you need to use to be able to build whatever your project is. In this case, you can do the course project. Obviously, I recommend doing that. But then you should have your own project that you're pulling these things that you're learning from and putting them into your own project. So for instance, 
if you come from WDB, again, I keep circling back to that, then you built Yelp Camp. Well, with Yelp Camp, we're using EJS, um, embedded JavaScript for the view layer, again, res.render from the router, and that's how we're getting our view to be visible to the user in their browser. Well, what you could do as a side project for yourself to better understand how React works with Express, with Redux together, is you could get rid of EJS and the rendering in that way, and you could instead use React to create these components and replace the EJS view layer with React. I think that would be a really good idea. In fact, I have an idea that I'm probably going to build a course that does something similar to that, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, if I do something like that, I'll let you know in a future video. In the meantime, let's keep talking about this course. So last but not least, he deploys to Heroku, which is really cool. He's going to teach you how to develop, how to develop efficient, efficiently uh, in an elegant way, like he says, and then development or deployment to Heroku with a post build script. So all this stuff going from development to deployment, like those are job skills right there. Not only are you adding on to your current skill set, you're adding on to your skill set with things that can get you hired. If you already have a job, then maybe you can level up at the company that you're at. And if you are looking for a job, then having the full stack set up everything from your JavaScript in the uh, client to Node.js JavaScript on the server side and then using JavaScript with React back again in the client to be full stack. Uh, those are the types of things that if you go to a company that uses that stack or a similar stack, then that's a pretty good shoe in if you can do it effectively. So just to run you through the curriculum for the course, he's got the introduction. He just kind of tells you like, hey, this is the, the app. In fact, I definitely recommend you watch this four and a half minute video, welcome to the course, and then six minutes and 10 minute video, this is a look at the main app. He's gonna walk you through what you're gonna be building. Um, then he talks about Visual Studio Code because it has all these different plugins and stuff. I'm a big fan of Sublime. I've been using Sublime for this course. Uh, it's up to you. Some people like Brackets and some people like Atom, some people like VSC, it's all of, all of them are free, so just pick the one that you like the most and then definitely spend a little time. If you're not gonna use VSC code, spend some time researching which plugins you can use to make your development easier when working with React. Okay, so then he's got your basic Express setup, and this is basically setting up MongoDB. He's not gonna fool around with local uh, MongoDB, so you don't even have to install MongoDB, even though I know a lot of you already have it set up. Uh, you can use MLab in this case, so you just sign up for MLab, you create a sandbox, a sandbox uh, database, plug in those credentials, and boom, you're done. And then he's got the basic server setup, uh, MongoDB with Mongoose, route files, Express Router. This is all stuff that you've already learned from Colt's course. If you haven't, check out the description for a link to Colt's course. Uh, I got a coupon that you can use. Uh, again, if you have taken Colt's course, this stuff is just a review. So you can kind of skim through this really quick, look at the solution files. He's got them linked at the end of each section or even maybe at the end of each uh, video. You can download that and that way you can just use his files until you get to the point where you actually have to start typing and you want to do the learning like with React, the stuff that you don't already know. Okay, so then he goes into API routes with uh, JWT for authentication. So this is really cool. It's gonna kind of get you out of that passport with uh, sessions mindset and gets you into working with passport and JWT. Again, that's pronounced JOT, JSON Web Tokens. So he runs you through all of that and how it works. And then he does validations, which the validations aren't gonna work the same as they would if you're using like HTML5 or uh, if you were writing them with um, just vanilla JavaScript. In this case, we're gonna write the validations on the server side and then send them with the response to the client where we handle that and then display the validation like uh, that email's already been used or the password's not long enough or the password's incorrect, stuff like that. Okay, moving forward, so we have profile API routes. So basically he's got posts, users, and profiles and so he just goes through the routes for each one of these the user is the api route for the authentication then profile and then post and then halfway through then you get started with the react in the front end so this is the the meat and potatoes of this course this is where if you're coming in from a previous course like wdb then this is where you're going to actually start learning the new stuff right so he's going to show you how to integrate a bootstrap theme basically he's got this theme that he made and you just pull the html into react and then turn it into you just change the syntax a little bit change some of the class names things like that or change the properties anyway the attributes uh to be able to be used with react so then he gets you set up with react uh gets your basic layout working 
And then the next thing he jumps into is the React router and component state. So you're going to review some of the stuff that you probably already learned if you took, if you read the uh, Le Road to Learn React book. And so some of this will be a review for you, but you'll be seeing it in a real world application. So it'll start really clicking. You'll say, oh, that's how that goes. That's where that goes. This starts to make sense. Um, then he does Redux and authentication, explains why they need Redux, and he's got some Chrome extensions, uh, does a little reducer workflow example, uh, action and reducer workflow example. Um, if you want, go check out, I'll probably link it in the description. There's a great video by New Boston, um, super popular YouTuber, uh, tons of tutorials for uh, React and things like that. The problem is they're from like a year or two ago, so the syntax is still using ES5. But he's got some stuff about Redux. So if you want like a quick overview for free, then go out, uh, check out that link. I'll put it in the description. Okay, so more Redux stuff and how that ties in with authentication and putting it into the nav bar and whatnot. Uh, and then lastly, dash the dashboard and the profile state, dashboard profile state part two, three more sections, profile display, posts and comments. So this is just kind of building out the meat and potatoes, getting all these components set up and then prepare and deploy. Last thing is securing your keys, Heroku setup. This may be familiar if you're coming from WDB. I know I keep saying that, but a lot of you, uh, most of my audience is coming from Cold Steel's course. So, and again, if you haven't taken that course, then go ahead and check out the coupon in the description below. So anyway, Heroku setup, kind of review for some of you, but it's gonna be a little bit different because we're dealing with a front end portion of the application, that being React, which is something that you haven't done before. Uh, so he does the post build and deployment, and that's it. This is a pretty extensive course, again, 16 and a half hours, um, and it's a 30 day money back guarantee. So take it, you know, binge on it, do it as quickly as possible, and if for whatever reason you don't like it, then you can get the uh, 30 day money back guarantee. I've, you know, people put a lot of hard work into these courses. So yeah, let them keep the money that you spend on the course, and um, of course, if you have a horrible experience or you already know everything or you're not jiving with the learning style or teaching style, then get your refund, it's fine. Okay, so as a requirement, it says a good understanding of JavaScript and ES6 fundamentals and React and Node Basics. So you already have your Node Basics down. React, hopefully you read the, uh, Lear the Road to Learn React book. JavaScript, you should already know some JavaScript uh, from my course and Colt's course and everywhere else that you've probably been learning it. And then ES6 Fundamentals, if you don't know the ES6 Fundamentals, then check out the uh, ES6 in 1 video by Derek Bannis. I'll link to that in the description as well. And basically within 30 to 45 minutes, you can learn almost everything you need to learn about ES6. Okay, so that's it. Uh, a couple of reviews here. So I think you'll see a lot of that. If you scroll down, you can see they've five star, five star, five star. So they got all the five star reviews featured at the top. And you can see what people are saying about the course before you purchase it. Some people even finished the entire course and said, hey, I just finished the course. It's simply incredible, yada, yada. So definitely worth checking out. Uh, I'll leave you with that. I'm gonna have a link to this course. If you decide you wanna buy it, go ahead and visit it from the link that I have in the description. That'll help Brad out. It'll also help me out. It's an affiliate link. Okay. Uh, that's it. Merge stack, front to back, full stack, React, Redux, and Node.js by Brad Traversi. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.